What is a transactional email? A transactional email is an email that is sent to an individual recipient following a commercial transaction or specific action performed by that person, such as a purchase in your connected store or a password reset. In general, there's two types of emails you are receiving from brands to your mailbox. First type is a marketing emails and second transactional emails. So what are the example of transactional emails? Uh, examples of transactional emails are emails that you receive about your order, financial information like you payment confirmation, cancel payment, payment failed, also about sh uh, status shipment. We received and working on your order, we shipped it. Here's a uh, tracking information. Also, another example of uh, transactional emails when they create account in your store. I will show you three examples of transactional emails that I, I received and I'll explain you the structure of transactional emails. So the first one is the order confirmation. As you can see, I receive it from a brand called uh, O2. Uh, the transactional email includes the order number. Also, it includes what I order, the quantity, how much it costs, and the total. Also, it includes the shipping information. And there, there is some marketing piece to it. The marketing piece in transactional email I'll cover a little bit later in this video. So the second email is a shipment confirmation. This email I received from West Elm when I was ordering the lamps. And as you can see, it includes order number as well, also the timeline. So this, this step was done, this step was done, this step was done, and this one is still outstanding. Also, it has deliver, uh, track your delivery, so tracking number, so I can click and get more information. Also, I record another video talking about shipment orders a status i explain in details why it's important and why customers nowadays expect you to update them on each step of the journey of the order so go there and please check out that video it will be extremely helpful for you so it was the second email the shipping confirmation and the last one referring uh, to the canceling order so this is the from tesla and as you can see it's a transactional email which notifies me about cancel order of the car so as you can see the reservation number vehicle model uh, when it was canceled and how much it was refunded so those are just three examples of course there's um, more emails but those are the most common uh, the most common transactional emails you might receive in your inbox what's the difference between transactional and marketing email so for transactional email person does not need to opt in they do not need to give you consent to send them that email. It's like going to store and when you pay, they give you receipt with the information of your purchase. Same thing that transactional email. It's about their order, shipment status, or account creation. You don't need to collect any information, ask for permission to send them that kind of email. On the other hand, if you want to send somebody marketing emails, you need to collect their consent and they need to give you green light and say yes i want to sign up for your marketing emails and please send it to me and when they do then you can start sending the marketing emails so this is the biggest difference between uh, those two types of emails is welcome email abandonment card browser man are those are transactional or marketing emails all of those that i just listed welcome abandonment and browser abandonment uh, abandonment card and browser abandonment all of those are marketing emails and you need to collect uh, consent from subscriber to be able to send them emails do transactional emails need an unsubscribe link the short answer no they do not since transactional emails does not fall under scope of can spam act you don't need to include unsubscribe link in your transactional emails some brands and let's go back to my screen and i'll show you uh, what i mean so this is the example of o2 brand where it is transactional email however they included some marketing material here it's totally fine it's not bad it's like uh, when they print out receipt for you in a store sometimes on the back there's some kind of marketing material so it 
it's fine but to to extend if you go crazy and you have 90 percent of marketing material in your transactional email and only uh, 10 percent uh, transactional information this is when it's re really bad and you will probably be penalized with your transactional email so you can include some um marketing material in your transactional email and we strongly encourage you to do so but be cautious not to go overboard with the marketing information if you have any additional questions about this video about uh, transactional emails please leave them under this video i'm more than happy to answer or answer your questions or provide you resources based on your questions thank you and see you next thursday hey this is me again please subscribe to our youtube channel because it helps us to grow and produce more valuable content for you